Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is accessibility top 20 interview questions and answers that you must know. No matter if you are a front-end developer or a back-end developer, ADA or accessibility is something that everybody must be aware and must have the knowledge. With, through the help of this top 20 interview question and answer series, you will be able to master those questions or in general gain knowledge about the accessibility. Let's get started. Before I kick start uh, the interview question answer series, this uh, particular tutorial is part of the entire full stack interview question answer series that I've launched. It covers over 30 technologies and over 2000 plus question answer series with detailed code snippets. You can get your ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All these technologies that are listed are covered and you will be able to master, learn and crack any interview. So get your copies at rtutorials.gumroad.com. All right, let's kick start the first question. What is web accessibility and why is it important? Web accessibility ensures that websites, tools and technologies that are designed are designed for people with disabilities. When I say disabilities, it means let's say if somebody is not able to use their hands, Right? Let's say they don't have one hand or you can use the tabbing. That's one way. Uh, color should be appropriate if they are like visually little blind, etc, etc. So those are the things that comes into picture, especially for people with differently abled or with certain disabilities. It's important to have an inclusive user experience and comply with laws like CSAG, which is Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. If you work for any enterprise, chances are that you will be asked to be compliant with this particular loss. So what is a CSAG and what, what are its key, key principles? Web content accessibility guidelines are standards that are set and that should be implemented as part of the web applications. It, it operates on four uh, principles which is called POR. P stands for perceivable which means content must be perceivable to all users. It should be operable, which means UI components must be uh, usable. The people should be able to use them irrespective of their disability. Understandable, that means that information must be easy to understand. This can be done in multiple ways, including uh, tools like, you know, uh, speech uh, recording and speaking, etc. Robust content should work with assistive technologies, like I mentioned, speech readers, etc. Your content should be able to be assistive. How do you ensure your site is keyboard accessible? Now I talked about an example I gave you earlier where users should be able to hit tab buttons and navigate. So the first and foremost rule is first you start using the semantic HTML, right? Um, use buttons instead of div, uh, divs for clicks and all that. Then ensure that your focusable elements are accessible via tabs, right? That is on keyboard tabs. Also provide focus indicators. That's very, very important, like changing the stylings, etc. when they are on hover or on focus, etc. Make sure that each and everything has a ARIA attributes wherever needed. If you use any modern frameworks like Bootstrap, Material Design, they come inbuilt with ARIA attributes. What is the role of uh, ARIA in accessibility? ARIA stands for Accessible Rich Internet Applications. It helps in making non-semantic uh, elements like say div or a span accessible by adding roles, states and its properties. So for example, if you want to provide a role to a div, you can always say role equal to button. Now this div will act as a button because you have given that particular role. So these are the common standard practices and ARIA labels are must whenever you are interacting or building a dynamic web page. How do you test a website's accessibility? So we can, there are multiple tools that are available, but the commonly used ones are Lighthouse. You have a Arc tool, you have X Dev tools or Wave. These are some of the uh, commonly ones that are used across in enterprises. Now always test uh, with screen readers. I mentioned an example where uh, you have the NVDA or voiceovers and test that your co website's content is ac easily accessible to screen readers. Check for uh, keyboard navigation, focus orders. Those are some of the important elements. How do you ensure color contrast meets accessibility standards? 
this is a very very important um, aspect because whenever as a designer or front end developer you are going and implementing make sure that your contrast ratios are 4 is 4.5 is to 1 for normal text 3 is to 1 for large text okay that is 18 pixel or 24 pixel above you can also use tools that are available like contrast checker etc to make sure that you are aligned and your colors and branding is aligned what are common accessibility issues you have encountered now this is a question often asked to see if you have really worked on any real-time projects you can mention that always add alternate text for images um, poor focus management talk about that there was missing edge, edge hover and focus events etc you can talk about the color contrast being not being able to be uh, aligned with the standard set and then you guys fixed it by providing the cur color contrast and for text and backgrounds also talk about uh, the forms missing the labels etc or even you can mention not having the color appropriate uh, highlighting of the errors these are some of the common ADA things that you will encounter <coughs> how would you improve accessibility in a dynamic single page application now the answer you will say is that we'll manage by starting the focus during the navigation okay that means at the top level you'll start with the navigation then come down using tabs then you talk about the dynamic changes using aria live that means if some data or content is changing dynamically you can use aria live to announce that test screen reader behavior during navigation so you can check for all the important aspects to have the screen reader what is semantic html how does it affect accessibility semantic html uses tags like header article button that convey certain meaning to screen readers to the other tools that are consuming it it improves accessibility by enabling assistive technologies to interpret content correctly how would you make forms more accessible first and foremost rule always have labels for inputs via for attribute provide aria described by this is an additional context that you are providing to the forms use descriptive placeholders and error messages use validation use hover and focus states to make your forms more interactive and ADA compliant that's all in today's episode top 10 questions I'll continue this with uh, the remaining 10 in the next part make sure that you get all the uh, interview question answer series with code snippets it's a one-time buy you can get it at arttutorials.gumroad.com all the technologies that are listed here including testing UI backend testing uh, agile all of that is covered so make sure you get your copy I'll see you in the next part we'll continue with top 20 accessibility interview question answer series thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode